Here we are at the Topahehe Dam. This is where the water for Morrinsville comes from. It's transported from the dam here all the way to the treatment plant where the treatment process begins. The treatment process involves adding special chemicals to the water which cause the dissolved particles and the solid particles in the water you can't really see with your eye to fall out of solution. We call that sedimentation and coagulation and that's the first step of the process. Following that we collect that cleaned water and we put it through a secondary process called filtration and that removes even finer particles producing compliant drinking water. From there, it's on to the final parts of the treatment process, which is chlorination of the water here in Morrinsville. So once we've cleaned the water and it meets drinking water standards, we add chlorine. What the chlorine does is the chlorine kills off any bacteria which is in the water. We filter the water, the water is then chlorinated. The purpose of chlorination is to remove bacteria from the water, but also to provide what we call a residual. So a chlorine residual is amount of chlorine which stays in the water all the way from the treatment plant to your taps. It's there to make sure the water stays clean while it's in the network. So speaking of the network, once we finish with the water at the treatment plant, it fills up what we call our final water reservoir and then that water is transported into town. Here in Morrinsville, that's to the Mount Misery Reservoir. It collects in that reservoir there and that is where the rest of town is fed from, through the reticulation network all the way to your pipes.